And without winning her home state, it becomes in turn hard to see how she's going to stay in the race very long. Speaking of uh, South Carolina, that's where uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has been spending most of his time since the Iowa caucuses. He's got an event in New Hampshire today. Uh, I want you to listen here to, um, I guess, an admission about his early strategy as it relates to the media in his campaign. Let's listen to that. I came in uh, not really doing as much media. Um, I should have just been blanketing. I should have gone on all the corporate sh shows. I should have gone on everything. I started doing that as we got into the end of the summer, um, and we did it. But we had an opportunity, I think, to come out of the gate and do that and reach a much broader folk. So we're in the here's what I should have done part of, of his campaign. How much of his slide is attributable to, to just the media strategy, or is it far more than that? Well, I mean, listen, he, he's, he, he's trying to act as if, oh, I forgot to talk to the media. No, it, it, was, it, was, uh, it was contempt for the media. It was uh, Ron DeSantis at every opportunity saying he hated the mainstream media, that the mainstream media was out of touch with uh, his base and with real Americans and so forth, and he was going to snub uh, mainstream media. He was going to ignore them. He didn't need them and so forth and so on. It wasn't a logistical kind of an issue. It was an ideological one. And on that, as on so many different issues, Ron DeSantis has been proven to have been wrong, that the path to the White House did not lie in dividing Americans and attacking the mainstream media and attacking Disney and attacking, you know, whatever he called woke and all of that kind of stuff. It just, it, it, it flopped and it failed miserably. Uh, he's not going to show up in New Hampshire. Uh, he's probably going to fold his tent after South Carolina. Mm. You think he's going to be in for another in. month? if he's so low in the polls in South Carolina? He has told, he has told reporters that if, if it doesn't work out for him in South Carolina, it's all over. Uh, you know, and that's Christie just said he's going to be in, in until the convention. Well, yeah, right. OK, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. It's a very expensive proposition to continue running for uh, president when you have no hope of mm. winning a sizable number of delegates. Now, Somebody like Nikki Haley could, if she wanted to, yeah. uh, try and do what Ted Cruz did back in 2016, Victor, which is rally the anti-Trump forces and say, look, it's important, even if we can't win the nomination outright, to go into the convention with a sizable amount of delegates or maybe even enough to prevent him from getting an outright majority. Yeah. If they can try and make that case, it's not going to be Ron DeSantis, who is the, the, the anti-Trump candidate. Errol Lewis, always good to have you. Happy Sunday. Thank you.